What's up, folks? How's everyone doing today? So, uh, I'm at work. If I were to get a call or anything, I'd have to turn this off immediately. But anyway, I just wanted to do a quick, uh, what's up, Jacob? How you doing, buddy? How's San Antonio, man? I bet. I was just in uh, Houston this morning. Got a 10, 12 hour transfer out there to Sugarland. What's up, Mr. Judson? How you doing, sir? I got me a good five hour nap after getting back from Houston. Mr. V, what's up, buddy? How you doing, sir? <clears throat> I'm at work, so if anything comes goes down, awesome. If anything goes down like while I'm at work, then I'm going to have to just shut it down. But uh, yeah, man, it was a rough night. We didn't sleep at all. We ran overnight 10, 12 hours straight. I got a, I, uh, We got back at 9 a.m. for us. We went out at, at midnight, so we ran for nine hours. Got back at nine, and I crashed out for a good five hours. So I definitely feel a lot better. <clears throat> But I have a ton of packages. So I said, I'm going to bring at least one of them to work and uh, open it. And then I felt uh, kind of lazy. I didn't want to actually do a whole edited video. <laughs> so I thought I'd just do a, go ahead and do an unboxing here. This is from David Blucher. A package he sent me. And it is a complete surprise because I have n absolutely no idea what's in this box from David. But... Uh, I'm excited, nonetheless. Nonetheless, I'm excited to see what's in this box. I've got like about five or six packages sitting at home on my couch. It's kind of ridiculous. <laughs> dinosaurs. It's all dinosaurs. David is going to be excited, man. I've been doing some research on uh, what they're going to announce at that toy fair. And one of it, one of the action figures or toys that's going to be announced uh, from the Mattel from the Jurassic World. What's up, comics? How you doing? For all people, for all people, how you doing, buddy? <clears throat> yeah, one of the announcements is going to be a massive, massive dinosaur, really tall. So I think he'll. I don't know if he'll get it, but he'll be excited. I'm pretty sure he will. <clears throat> I thought that was kind of cool. And this thing is getting worn out just from opening boxes. So, yeah, I'm pretty excited now that I've heard a few things that are going to be mentioned at the Toy Fair. I'm pretty excited to to hear it officially. All right, so. There, we got the box open. Nathan, what's up, buddy? Funko J, how y'all doing? Pretty excited, this is from, from David. And uh, it looks, he always packs things so well. Look at that. I'm actually nervous to open it now. I'm going to feel bad. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Okay, so we got, man, he got me these uh, variant grocery gang figures. That's cool. So let's check those out real quick. All right, so. <clears throat> this one's a uh, Grody Graffiti. Grotty Graffiti? 
I, I these are all like variants that came out at uh, five below that you can't really find anywhere else so it's pretty cool these are awesome spewy loo it's a toilet isn't that cool wow that's nice <laughs> You're wrong. <laughs> I'm still nervous about this one though, the big one. And we have a uh, trash head. See, I have trash head, but he's a different color. <clears throat> so that's cool. That was very nice of him to pick these up for me. I've got a bunch of stuff I need to send him to. I found a ton of dinosaurs. <laughs> All kinds of places. Goodwill few places I got something from Walmart for them but this is I don't know what this is shall we open it oh you got the same ones from David <laughs> I I don't have a five below within a few hours from me which is where Jacob Luna lives that's the closest five below we have and three hours is a drive he loves his dinos man that's his thing all right, so let's see what we got here. Okay. Ah! Oh, we got your different ones. Nice. Let's see here. And I have like a lifetime of bubble wrap now from people. Whoa. Look at that. I'm sorry, that is sweet. I've been needing this uh, Gamorrean guard for the longest time. Man, that is so kind of him. But you know he did this on purpose. Now I owe him. <laughs> What's up, Brian? How you doing, Brian Kelly? He got free bacon. Every guy loves bacon. <laughs> yeah, this is from Star Wars. I think I have a, a vintage from the 80s uh, Gamorrean Guard, too. Thanks, buddy. I appreciate that. <clears throat> I've always wanted him because the soft goods, the weapons, and it's an incredible piece. I know it should probably stay in box, right? What's up, Juan? How you doing, buddy? Yeah, he did on purpose because I scored a bunch of stuff recently he wants. <laughs> now he's got me. Hey, Doomsday, this is actually from uh, David Blucher. Sent me this package. He sent me those three uh, fellas back there, the grocery gang. I picked up some vintage, some more vintage food fighters. So I want to like kind of do a comparison review. So because the food fighters are really small. They're smaller than I, I remember them being. This guy's amazing. Look how great he looks. I'm going to owe him lots of dinosaurs. <laughs> this guy is so awesome. They make it so hard to get out of the plastic. He looks soft and cute. Alright. Gotta carve a few pieces of rope off of him. And it's all like invisible strings. So people like me with bad eyesight. Man, look how great he looks. This guy looks amazing. I love how the... the I don't know what you call that. Is it like kind of like a tunic, but fur tunic? Yeah, these you cannot find this guard anymore. You're right. You got to pay uh, 
friggin' second market prices on eBay and stuff to get them now, which I have no idea what it is, but I'm sure it sucks. He comes with some amazing weapons. <clears throat> Look how sweet that axe looks, and it's kind of like patinaed, like it looks old and rusty. Same thing with this one. It's pretty darn awesome. I really appreciate this, David. This is amazing, man. <clears throat> oh, did they? So you got a ton more. Man, this guy is cool. He's small, but he's still got the double knee. So you could do some ninja stuff. Let's see. Yeah, that's what I thought. Whenever you get a figure that has a jaw articulation, you know you got the hookup. Pretty incredible. So I think he does come with this big staff, but man, these axes are barbaric. Definitely want the axes. He's going to have to come out in my, my new sitcom <laughs> that I'm working on. Who wants to be the Gamorrean Guard uh, voiceover? I wouldn't even know what he'd sound like. Yeah, he would make some really good photo, toy photo photography. <clears throat> would be awesome. He looks like mean, like you would think he'd have a real low voice, but I think I'll give him a real high-pitched voice. Hey, guys. You're going to have to come with me. You're going to jail. Man, that guy's amazing. I love the armor. The leather. His helmet is awesome. Super sweet. And now i got a zillion grocery gangs. I'm probably not complete on the grocery gangs, but I have a, a vehicle playset and at least 20 of those guys so i think i'm gonna have to do like a retro review of the grocery gang figures with the playset and vehicles and then maybe bring it break out the food fighters is what everybody compares them to even though most of them is, aren't even food so pretty darn awesome wow thank you funko uh scoot Appreciate that, man. I love how your art comes out and your stickers at my house where I do my reviews. I put the stickers up here. Well, I didn't take them off the adhesive backing or the backing. I just kind of put a little piece of double sided tape so I didn't ruin the sticker. <clears throat> you think he'd take on the turtles? Yeah, but he looks good. He needs to take on the NECA turtles because he has he's not real cartoonish looking. He came out awesome. Huh? Very happy with him. I wish I brought more stuff from my house. I don't have anything here to. <laughs> he looks like Mutant Shrek. <laughs> he does, right? He could easily be a, sh a Shrek. We need someone to volunteer to buy all of us the NECA Turtles. I was watching that guy, uh, Tech Chucker, and he did a review of the Comic-Con. <laughs> They're the exact same figures. They changed the the colors like slightly, like the, the colors of the bandanas were slightly changed. The Ghost and the Goblins, yeah. <clears throat> this would be cool if this came off. I don't know if it does or doesn't, but if it did, man, I would say we could army build a few of these guys. <clears throat> Here, I'm going to open one of these up. I can't ever leave stuff alone in the box. My wife hates that I open everything. <laughs> Let's see. That's the thing about the five below ones. They don't come with anything as far as weapons or the little minifigures. 
But that's okay because it's just a variant. He looks awesome. What's up, God Tank? How you doing, brother? Yeah, the, the paint. Use your knife. Luke, use the force. All right, let's see. Let's see if I don't cut my hand off. <laughs> Slightly better, slightly better. This guy's cool. He's a toilet. I mean, who wouldn't like a toilet <laughs> as an action figure? So there's the toilet guy. Spewy Louie. This guy looks all gangster. What up? And of course, Trash Man. Oh man, yeah, the jaw opening. It's little extras like that. And that's what I get because I usually almost always, oh, you think the SDCC sets uh, better? They look amazing. They definitely look amazing, man. I would take either set. I don't, uh, $100 is not that bad, I guess. It's something you're going to keep the rest of your life, but. And I'm pretty sure we'll never see those go on clearance, so. I'm, I either going to get them one at a time and risk not being able to get all four long game, or I just need to bite the bullet and just buy them all. So, I think I'm going to end up getting them soon. All I, all I got to really do is pick up an extra 12-hour shift at my uh, second job. <laughs> the 12-hour shift, the more than cover them. All right. Let's plug in. I got to plug in here. Because this tablet's... I was watching uh, Hulu on it, and I killed the battery doing my reports. All right. Um, also, I was going to save this for our live stream Wednesday, but I was listening to more um, talk about the Toy Fair, and apparently um, NECA is going to release some really amazing villains now for the Turtles. So there's going to be a few villains being kicked out. Have a great day, God Tank. Thank you for coming over. Appreciate it, man. So I'm pretty excited to see what... Uh, Neck is going to do. <clears throat> Can you imagine we get a awesome shredder, maybe a Baxter? <clears throat> so what do y'all think about uh this news here? McFarland Toys is going to get a 3-year deal with uh DC. For the DC action figures? Did y'all see that? No, I haven't got the new Elites yet. That, that Series 62 with Dude Love. I really want Dude Love, but I'm kind of... I don't need them that bad, but eventually I'm going to have to pick them up. <clears throat> yeah, DC is going to have, but I think McFarlane can do some good work. Oh, Casey Jones. Yes, Casey Jones is a must. Where he has like the removable hockey handle. Like, <laughs> <clears throat> this is another one I'm wondering. <clears throat> yeah, Dude Love is going to be my favorite of the group. This is another one. This is the six inch uh, Jurassic World line. And this is blue. He stands just under the six inch mark, but man, he is like. Super articulated. He's got a uh, ball hinge everywhere, just like the. Oh, wow. Thank you, brother. I appreciate that. <clears throat> Let's see here. Here's Owen. That six inch figure of Owen looks great. That looks pretty spot on for uh, 
for Chris Pratt. I think they did a good job on this. All right, Nathan, thank you for stopping by, man. Don't work too hard. There's Ian. He looks good. I think they did. A, these are the six inch line that they're going to be coming out with. I think for 2020, if I'm not mistaken. <clears throat> What's up, Dondi? How you doing, brother? Am I back? Am I back on? <laughs> oh, I'm back, Mr. V. Damn, I wonder what happened. My service looks pretty good, I think. Huh. Well, that's terrible. Oh, wait, I'm back. I'm back again. Guess who's back? Back again. Kevin's back. Tell your friends. <laughs> Thank you, Dondi. I don't know what happened there. That was odd. I'm pretty sure they were being racist against me. Punisher, what's up, brother? How you doing? Venom Fang in the house. What's up, man? I'm not going to call you by your government name either. I'm going to give call you by your street name. <clears throat> is anybody collecting these guys? I know Judson is. I oh, mean, I wish I would have brought my uh, food fighters. I should have opened them too. Editing the new vid. But I'm doing this uh, video right now live because I'm just too lazy to edit my new video. <laughs> Shout out to my brother, David. Look at this. They made a toilet. I mean, but what toilet is like dripping green goo? Gangsta the gangster. The gangster the did was it the gangster the killer and the dope dealer. I must have upset YouTube. They gave me a little little uh, my, uh, screen check there for me to settle it down. They're like, settle it down, brother. Settle down. <clears throat> Action figure addict 112. What up, Kyle? How's the weather up in uh, North Texas? Punisher sent me a package that's uh, in the mail. It was, it was the size of my couch, man. <laughs> I haven't got to get home to get it yet because I'm still working until tomorrow morning. But my wife sent me pictures. It better not be a body, man. You better not have sent me a body. <laughs> it's a small couch, yeah. It's nice outside. Awesome. Uh Tonight, the low here is going to be like dipping into the high 30s, which is nice. You're at work, Mr. B. <clears throat> You've never seen grocery gang figures? I think he's like a trash can. Oh, no. He's a trash can. He's a toilet. And I think he's a spray can, spray paint can. Oh, man, we don't get much icy weather down here in South Texas. We have almost year-round summers. <laughs> hey, Venom, I was in Houston this morning. I transported a patient from here. We got the call at midnight, and I didn't get back to my station until 9 a.m., so we ran nine hours straight. Oh, you got family in Texas. That's cool, Pusher. <clears throat> Oh, yeah. Yeah, I was up in H-Town, man. And uh, when you're entering through Sugarland, 
159, it's terrible. They have those big old concrete barriers. So you get no shoulders. You get two thin lanes with the concrete walls right on the lines. And then you got these 18 wheelers blowing by you. There's just no room. It really gives you anxiety. It's crazy. I hate driving through and to Houston. I hate it. <clears throat> I am so excited to get home and open a Punisher's package. It's going to be amazing. Pretty pumped. <clears throat> H-Town. Yeah, we went up there to MD Anderson. Oh, man, humidity is terrible. <laughs> I would have, but uh, driving at night, I, you lose service so much. Plus, I had a patient with me, so it would have been rude to go live. <laughs> <clears throat> but I am. I'm going to go live sometime this week at 3 a.m. when I wake up. I'm going to see how many of y'all are awake. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I like how you said the transporting business, but then you stay hush-hush about it. Makes me wonder. <laughs> like, give the wink transporting. <laughs> oh, yeah. Venom's going to be live. Coming from H-Town. Shoot. You go, to, you go to Houston, and you got, like, 30 Walmarts, 30 Walgreens, 30 Rosses, 30 Best Buys. <laughs> That's a place to go uh, hunting if you're willing to drive around town. <laughs> I hear you. I hear you, HIPAA. <laughs> got to keep it hush-hush. Yeah, Mr. V, I got a Facebook account. It's uh, just under my name, Kevin Coleman. And there's a picture of me and a dog. A gray dog chilling. Yeah, Venom, we need to get into some transport uh, jobs. <laughs> Make some real money. Good money, good money. <clears throat> Be like, uh, I'm transporting from south of the checkpoint to Houston uh, with 20 cousins. The Nerdy Family, hello. Yeah, these are grocery gang figures. Let's see. My buddy David picked these up for me. I needed these three or variants. But they're... Uh, I can't remember who makes these anymore. Moose. The company called Moose. And there they have... This is like the... I think the third wave... Third series come out. These are the future Time Wars. And they, if you go on YouTube and look them up, they actually have some really cool cartoons. They're neat. But the figures are cool. They're all like rotted foods and objects. Like this one right here is a toilet. Trash can. Spray paint bottle. And this is a big Star Wars figure in the middle. This is a Gamorrean guard. <clears throat> he was, uh, I guess, kind of what, like the... The jailer for uh, Jabba, basically. Don, do you saw Dude Love? <laughs> Judson, that might be what we were thinking. <laughs> you have some of the grocery gangs. I'm like probably 80, 90% finished with... All three waves that they've come out with. All three series. <clears throat> uh, I did a video a while back. And Venom and I uh, collaborated on an actual uh, parody. The Grocery Gang. We did a song for the video. <laughs> and it was uh, the song. What's it called? Uh, Gucci Mane? Gucci Gang? Gucci Gang, Gucci Gang, Gucci Gang. Hey, what's up, Marvel Ranger? How you doing? Not working? Working? Free? <clears throat> 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 
Which one? The Mortal Kombat, the original Mortal Kombat movie, or the toys? Yeah, we're going to need security for our uh, transport business. Someone that's not afraid to pull a trigger. <laughs> that's awesome. Just got out of work. I long to hear those words. I work a 48 Monday, Tuesday, so... 48. Oh, uh... Is it Storm Collectibles? I saw that Guru... Goru... Recently with the forearm guy. Man, that is an amazing Mortal Kombat figure. He looks so good. I think they're Storm Collectibles, if I'm not mistaken. Those are nice. I probably... Would never pick them up unless I found something like discounted somewhere, but I do like them. <clears throat> yeah, he's he's amazing. Definitely something to pick up. <clears throat> I'm not afraid to pull a trigger, gangster. <laughs> Korean guard. I need a rose. <clears throat> oh, he's a pimp, guys. He is a pimp. <clears throat> I think, what was he, like 40 when he first came out? Uh, I probably would army build him if I can find him on clearance somewhere. Oh, you're military. Well, so is Punisher, yeah. Punisher was a Marine, right? He was a, a Judd. <laughs> Gonna have to whoop some. Let's see here. <laughs> uh, man, I just want to go home. Yeah. Did you uh watch the season two of Punisher? Punisher? <laughs> A lot of us were really into season two. <laughs> private service. Private service. <laughs> I was never in military but my dad my mom and my, i mean uh, my dad my sister and my brother all three were in the military and i just didn't want to go that route but i kind of wish i did now because at my age i would have already been retired from the military like 10 years <laughs> and then my second job would just be all extra money But, oh well, no use in crying over spoiled milk. <clears throat> Anybody get the NECA turtles here? Any of them? I've seen some people just pick up like one, like their favorite, like just a Leo or just a Donatello. <laughs> Street Justice. Oh, Dondi's looking for that uh, dude love. <laughs> I have Optimus Prime G1. I've had him a long time, but he's missing his fists. But yeah, I love my Optimus G1. They have the reissue. Speaking of a uh, Jigsaw, I was not happy with the Jigsaw either because the comic books have had his face mangled like terrible. He looked like a Jigsaw puzzle in the comics. And then when that, if you remember that uh, Black Knight, I think, uh, Marvel Knights, Punisher Warzone, he was torn up in that one too bad, really disfigured. This one, he had a couple of scars, but it wasn't. This one made uh, Jigsaw more about his mental status, mental health. His brain was kind of Jigsaw. <laughs> but I wanted his face. <clears throat> Oh, you haven't found G1 Prime? Yeah, I think I saw like 
like six of them a few minutes ago. I was actually at a Walmart. I went to go get food at the Walmart near me. <clears throat> Let's see. I went over there also to look because he heard saw people finding this this uh, Panther Wave for uh, five bucks. Well, mine actually did ring up. Uh, it was ringing up twelve inch Black Panther, but they corrected the price, so it was twelve inch Black Panther, eighteen something. So they they fixed the pricing. I want to get the Boba Fett there. If you see the Boba Fett in the background, I'm probably gonna get Boba because I have Jango, and I think they would look good with each other. Let me uh, fast forward this and find the primes. As you can see there, there's a, I guess six six of the Optimus reissue. That's a lot of the primes, but they're 50 bucks, and you could buy the G1, the original G1 for less than that. <laughs> but if it drops to like 30, 30, I'll say. <clears throat> yeah, those Primal Clash. I really like the, pr the Primal Clash. I don't like the action figures, but I do like uh, the, the animals are amazing. Like that tiger there. Good lordy. Good lordy. He's a... Uh... Oh, yeah. I have the original 80... 86, I think. Uh, Optimus. That's my... That's my jam. Yeah, it does. You got G1 at Good. Wow, you picked it up, right? <laughs> Is anyone picking up these archive? They have all four at my Walmart. All four of them here. What's up, Shoki? How you doing, buddy? Thanks for joining in. I was just doing a little review on a unboxing or a, on a package I got from my buddy David Blucher, and now we're just kind of shooting the breeze uh, a little bit about the New York Toy Fair and then some stuff that I found at Walmart. You got two of the archives already? They have all, all of them. You can see right here, all of them at my Walmart. I was there an hour ago. They're all there. <clears throat> Whoa, 88 and Boba Fett giveaway? Okay, Marvel Ranger, you take care. Enjoy your, the rest of your day off. I have that guy right there that, uh, uh, was the, uh, the mammoth. But I'm probably going to pick up that Triceratops pretty soon. Jetta Patrol, how you doing, brother? Mr. Jetta in the house. Yeah, the... My, I have a Target here, but it's an hour drive, and uh, they're pretty much dried up. Their their NECA selection is actually not that bad, but I always skip on stuff, and then I regret it and wish I grabbed it. <laughs> My Walmart just got all the Black Panther figures. I should probably picked up more because even though even at eighteen dollars that's what that's like four bucks four and a half dollars cheaper than GameStop. <clears throat> the takeover wave? Oh yeah, you want that Alistair Black, right? Headed to the gym. Jetta's probably the only one that's going to be doing the right thing right now and taking care of himself. <laughs> I'm going to eat a salad later. At least I'm doing that. Uh, 
I have a... What did I pick up? I have an Xbox One. And I bought that uh, South Park, the new Fractured Butthole game. South Park. I haven't opened it yet, but that's the one I'm going to be playing pretty soon. And I, I play all my original NES games. <laughs> wow, Walgreens. Man, that your Walgreens is more updated than mine. Then you got Captain America and Black Panther. Mine is terrible. It still has Namor, the original Namor. And <laughs> it's terrible. <clears throat> we got a PS4 for my stepson, but uh, what's up, Jimmy? How you doing, buddy? <laughs> 795 days in a row. Hey, sometimes we forget, right? We're human. Oh yeah, the South Park. Oh, the first South Park game. The what was it called? The the Stick of Truth or something. I finished that game completely all the way, and I loved it. Other than like you know, like testicles slapping you in the head every now and then. <laughs> it was an amazing game going up into outer space, and I absolutely loved the first game. <laughs> a butter sweat from uh, Mezco, the Mezco toys. I got a couple of those. You guys see this uh, that we may be getting pretty soon? A new updated Snake Mountain from the, I think it's from the Super 7. Man, but look how amazing that Snake Mountain looks. You know, I remember that old uh, South Park game. Was it something like, uh, was it about that red-headed kid? There was a, another kid that it was mainly about from South Park. Can I remember? Can y'all hear me? You. Tell me when I come back. Please. Be very kind of y'all. I'm back! Yeah! I was about to start, start talking smack, thinking no one heard me. <laughs> what is up with this live kicking me out so many times? After everything I've done for YouTube... Which is nothing. <laughs> They're going to beat me out of here. Unbelievable. Now I've already lost... I don't even know what I was talking about. Probably nothing important. Oh, I think we were talking about the... Mega Constructs. Did y'all see that they are coming out with a Castle Grayskull? Someone posted... I think that on Plastic Cannibal, someone posted a link to pre-order it for two fifty, which is kind of... Crazy. It's a little pricey for me, guys. Oh, Snake Mountain, yeah. That's that Super 7 release. Ryan posted it, yeah. If you're asking Night, buddy. Take it easy, Mr. B. I don't know why I said night. I'm so, like, delirious. <laughs> Good night, buddy. <laughs> Doing some custom work. Let's see here. I picked up a, a whole lot of uh, Kenner Alien stuff. So I'll be getting that next week. And it has that dang EXO. It looks like a friggin... If a forklift was turned into a suit. <laughs> that EXO suit or EXO... EXO whatever. <clears throat> I want to get that dude love too. He looks amazing. This is the Mattel... Mattel's actually going to be doing some He-Man and Super 7, so it's kind of interesting. I don't remember a green-looking uh, horde. She-Ra, they're going to be coming out with some new ones, new style. More updated current. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> that laundry's not going anywhere, Judson. It'll wait for you tomorrow. <laughs> Why do today what you can put off till tomorrow? Do y'all know who that is? It's just a mock-up. It's not probably what I'm going to use. <laughs> but be ready. <laughs> Mom, help me out. <laughs> <laughs> my wife's gone for like a almost a week for education she had to go pick up some classes for her job and i'm gonna have to feed the kids i'm gonna have to wash clothes i don't know what i'm doing what do you you got a project you're gonna be customizing Oh, yeah. I'm pretty bad. I uh, my parents are like forty minutes away, and I don't see them very often either. And they're not even that that far away. But I'm real tired that day. Oh shit. Come on, you could do this. Eh. <clears throat> Toy Bandit, what's up, man? How you doing? <clears throat> Af viewed this. What's up, buddy? Afternoon, sir. How are y'all doing today? <clears throat> I got a couple of customs I sort of semi started like I was going to do a custom Stan Lee I don't know how custom it is I was going to buy the head sculpt and then just do a little uh, kit bash and a little bit of custom paint but most of the work will be done with the head sculpt <laughs> <clears throat> and also I wanted to do like I have a the the fat bastard from what's his name from uh, Austin Powers I was going to try to do a blob with him a blob But, oh well. I'll try to keep it 51 minutes now into this video. I think I'm going to end it at an hour, like in a few minutes. Just because I feel crazy. Yeah, the kit bashes are nice though, yeah. Sometimes you have to do a little adjusting to the, the, the little ball hinge on the neck, the neck joint. But that's not that bad. Now that I've seen, like I used to do it the hard way. I'd like sand down that ball joint. And uh, try to do a little dermal work on it. Then I see people just fill in the hole of the neck, the inside the head with a putty. <laughs> Make it so much easier. Sort of chopping on stuff. <clears throat> but I suck at that stuff. I, I like to try it, but I'm not that good at it. I've done a couple, like I updated a, a Marvel Legend figure, what's her name, uh, Misty, Misty Knight. <clears throat> I'm going to have to go back and watch some of your, I watched, I've seen a lot of your reviews, but I don't think I've seen a, some of the custom work. I'm going to have to go back and check out the custom. I like seeing that. That's pretty awesome. All right, guys, I got to go.